and I absolutely hated it. I changed my major like seven times. I switched schools twice. Do you like my little friend over here? His name is Oatmeal. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to tell you guys why I did not go to medical school. So basically, I came into college as a pre-med major, as most students do, because I wanted to be a doctor and help people. And also, going off of a tangent, now going through my four years of trauma, my biggest pet peeve is just hearing people say, Oh, I want to be a doctor because I want to help people. I want to blah, blah, blah. Like, damn. Be specific, people. Like in any single job, you're going to help people directly or indirectly. If you're doing consulting, you wanna help people. If you're gonna be a lawyer, you're gonna help people. Or even if it's like sales, you're like, you're gonna help people in some way, shape, or form. Like what about being a doctor that you can do that you can't do in any other profession that is driving you to be one? So anyways, I came as a public health major because at the time I thought it was cool and trendy to be able to kind of help public health and be in healthcare in like a more like humanitarian type of way. Human, humanitarian, humanitarian, hu no. And it was like really cool because like it was understanding the health policies and research and like basically like taking that lens into like help to help and like learning how to help people in like different marginalized communities. And so at the time I thought it was super cool because I knew I could major in anything I wanted and still go for med school. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. And when it was time for me to take my pre-reg classes, I took the whole starter pack. You know, your bio, your chem, your physics, all your first series level entry courses. I think at Chapman they called it bio 204 or 208 or something like that. Um, but it was just basically like your like average like starter pack. I was shocked, shook. I was like, this ain't no like AP bio, like, like what happened? Like it was just like so like extensive and like exhausting and like I and like my passion wasn't in it anymore. Like this was not your AP bio. Like this wasn't what it was like in high school. Like like where was all of that fluff? Like where was the love and like where was like my passion and like the cells and like the mitochondria and like the memes, right? Where are the memes? And after taking two quarters of science classes, I then had a realization. Like how the fuck was I going to help patients with their biology if I wasn't even happy with like the courses? So then when everyone said that they were just like weed out courses and that it would like get better, it didn't get better for me. And I don't know why I took organic chemistry. I just thought that I had maybe some sort of lead or maybe it was just a phase that I was going through. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. Like I knew I did not belong in that class and I had and because I was already committed into that class I just had to go through the whole 10 12 weeks just learning about stupid atoms and molecules and all that fake stuff This girl that knew all of the answers you like give her a question and give her a second and her hand literally shot up so fast And I was like damn like she's so lucky like you guys, like everybody was so laser focused and like not, and, it, and not that like everyone was like happy in that class, but like it was like a different puzzle for them. Like it was a different motivation that, 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 that like was just going through in their minds and that they just like wanted to like figure a question out. But it wasn't like harder, it was just like different. Like it was just like understanding logically and like lots of like critical thinking and like lots of information that was like being thrown at you. So I had to like change majors and I felt like that life was like folding in on itself and I took a breather. Some, for some whatever reason, I still held onto that doctor dream and I have no idea why. And I think it was uh, basically me trying to be a safety net and just saying that, okay, well, if I end up switching to more like a like social science major, I can still go back to being medicine and have something stable and, and, and do whatever the fuck I want to do with my life. Um, but that was very short-lived and I will tell you why. 
I have literally switched my major so many times. I thought that public health wasn't it for me. I took a whole bunch of new courses. I took linguistics. I absolutely loved it because I thought that it was a very instinct type of study where I could just learn why humans are humans. Then I wanted to go into microbiome because I thought that it was really cool to be able to kind of get into like all of the cells and like understand uh, more about like the mitochondria and like the reasons like why we were like humans and like why we were processing the way we were like processing and like our systems. And then that was very short lived. And then I thought I wanted to do um, astronomy because who doesn't want to do astronomy? And like that shit was so fucking hard. I dropped that thing so fast. And so like after some like reflection of like talking to myself, I took a lot more diverse classes outside of STEM since I thought that was like throwing me off. So I took like a communications course. I took like, a gender studies. I took a music course all in that same queue. And for some reason, I just absolutely loved the social sciences. Like I loved like just, especially with communications, I just fell in love with the class and I was just so passionate. And we, we studied everything from like messaging to like rhetoric. We studied like things like marketing and like the reasoning behind our thinking. And that was just really cool. I, I, I don't know why it was just something that I it was just like deeper thinking than chemistry. And I just like absolutely loved it and, and yeah, like I wouldn't be able to tell you why. Like everything just like made so much more sense to me. Like it was creative and like, like for the first time, like I felt like that like my neurons were like firing and like partying up in there. And like, was I worried about like what I was gonna do with my degree? Like, fuck yeah. But like, if you wanna see me do another video um, on that, let me know, comment down below. And so when I ended up with a 4.0 in the class, I was like, you know what? I just have to get the ball rolling. Like I have to do more. I have to write on my passion until it runs out. But for me, it like never truly did. So I took more classes. I ended up declaring my major in communications and English and I graduated with an okay GPA. But my story isn't to degrade you guys from doing STEM. I want you guys to learn that no matter what you guys do, that your passion or flow <laughs> that your passion will follow and if you and if you do something that you truly hate out there you will soon realize that there will be nothing else left to do other than to go follow your heart and that's like the same with me too if I challenged myself to go do a degree in biology or chemistry or one of the hard sciences I still wouldn't have done med school I would I would have found out if not then but later that it wasn't something that I was happy in and it still would have gotten me to where I am at now as a recruiter um, and and I couldn't be more than happier well so that's it for today's video I hope you guys like it make sure to go ahead and like and subscribe comment down below what you guys like to see what you guys like to see next and I'll see you guys all next time bye